Enjoy the Goldilocks Productions presentation of the In the Psychic Flow Show with Carol Ann Carey. My wonderful guest this evening with us. The wonderful Laura Romero is going to join us today and take some calls. We're going to talk about her Angels in Light healing show and everything that she does. Um, I wanted to just bring up a couple of announcements. There's a little bit of a pause there. We're having a couple of little glitches internet-wise, so I apologize for that. Um, I did want to speak to you about a great event that um, I'm planning, and I hope you will join me if you are in Sarasota. We have the best psychic practitioners in Sarasota, Florida, Southwest Florida, at uh, the Sarasota Event Center. That is 600 North Beneva Road in Sarasota, the creme de la creme practitioners. So we hope that you will join us May 3rd, 3 to 9 p.m. We have $10 mini readings. You can wear a beret. You can sip an aperitif. And you can have the reading of your choice. It will be great. Or you can sign up with everyone. We have a few vendors. It's not a huge event. It's a very chic event. And it's very specialized. So we have best practitioners. I hope you will join us. One of which is a lovely and beautiful Laura Romero, who is a spiritual healer, Reiki master, angel intuitive, animal communicator, angel card reading, host of Angels and Healing Light Radio Show. Welcome, Laura Romero. Well, thank you very much for that lovely introduction, Carol Ann. Glad Gee, to is be there here. anything that you don't do? Could, I, could you please tell me if there's something you don't do on here? Yeah, well, I'm working on brain surgery, uh, so we can add that to the list. I should probably be ready for that next week or two. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Anything angel or healing yeah. uh, is how I feel about you. You do everything. And thank you. You joined us at Sarasota Center of Light for a wonderful angel class. You got wonderful feedback. Thank you for doing that. That was very interesting. Enjoyed you. You're a very good teacher as well. Well, thank you. I, yeah. I really enjoy bringing people people's awareness and, and helping them connect to angels and watching them for the first time that they start to realize that they are connecting and they are getting messages. And it's like watching kids open presents at Christmas. It's, it's, it's so wonderful to see. Oh, it's great. Um, you know, it's kind of uh, very interesting to me because angels can be like people can say, well, you know, woo-woo or – Well, they say that about my work, too, but angels in particular. um, I had an angel store back in New Jersey many years ago, uh, which I lost my shirt on, but everybody loved angels. It wasn't because um, people didn't like angels. Um, You know, I sold everything angel-related, and people bought that up. That is not why it didn't succeed. It didn't succeed because there was only one of me, and I needed, like, four of me. Uh, But it did turn me on to this uh, psychic and mediumship work, so I'm grateful for that. But, you know, it's just wonderful that you have this connection. Um, To me, it's like they're out there. If it's someone's uh, deported relative, I can get with that. But to speak about the angelic realm, I don't have – I have a a loose connection, I would say, (laughs) not like you have. How did you establish that? Oh, and one other thing, Tiffany just – our producer, our lovely producer, Tiffany Michelle White – just text me to let me know that Laura's mom is listening. So everybody, shout out to Laura's mom. She's a wonderful lady. I have read for her in the past. So hi, Laura's mom. <laughs> hi, mom. And hello, uh, hi, Steve, mom. my little brother. My little brother's listening for the first time, too. So hi, Steve. <laughs> hey, great. That's wonderful to have you guys in our audience today. Laura, what, uh, as I interrupted you, what, how did your uh, uh, connection with the angelic realm begin? How does one go about that? 
Well, it's it's really easy, believe it or not. You all you have to do is want to do it. You have to have the intention, and then the most difficult part, I think, is learning to trust the answers that you get and trusting yourself. And it's a process, of course. Um, I, but I find that if it's in your heart, and you tell the angels they really want to talk to you, which is what I did. They will make it happen. They will help you make it happen if you are a willing student. And I got uh, the bug, so to speak. Um, I was personally, I had a personal interaction with Archangel Michael one evening. I was at, uh, I just got, so I was at a Reiki share and I did not, um, protect myself energetically and there was a lady there who had some some energy that was very 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 low and disturbing and I boy I got whacked with it and I and I knew it right away and I did not know what to do about it so I contacted the facilitator Linda and she came and she said oh no problem we'll make this go away and she waved her hands around a little bit and she mumbled a couple things and poof the energy was gone and and she said well that was archangel michael and he came and cleared all that energy out and and here i'm thinking it's like right right archangel michael right well it was archangel michael and i was absolutely floored that he would come and talk to me just little old me i thought you had to be dead and in heaven in order to meet the angels like that (laughs) but it's not true it's just not true. So I was so fascinated, and I think I fell in love with him right there on the spot, quite frankly. But I started researching him, and then I found about all these other archangels, and I became more and more fascinated. I said, I, I need to talk to these beings. I, and I was completely driven and focused to do it, and so I do, I did, I do, and I love it, and I have found it to be I mean, it was an absolute passion for me. It's so much fun. It's so joyful. It's so incredible. Um, There are so many subtleties and so many things that are profound, and yet they're simple. And there's so many things they will help people with. And any, you know, all people have to do is ask. Everyone has a guardian angel. That guardian angel is with you from the minute you are brought into existence, that your soul exists. And that angel is with you forever and ever and ever and ever and knows you better than you know yourself. And that angel is always with you no matter what, no matter if you're nice, you're you're a cranky pants, no matter whether you go to church, who cares? They don't care. To them, you are a beloved child in being of God. And all they want to do is make you happy and healthy and help you get to where you want to be in life and where you're supposed to be in life. And the hardest part is for people to believe that and to listen mm-hmm. to those messages. Now, do you so, call um, upon specific mm-hmm. angels for specific reasons? Um, is mm-hmm. that what I've gathered from? I enjoyed a few readings with you, and I have to say they were beautiful. They were evidential, accurate, uh, very touching, and I felt very cleansed and very healed afterwards. Do you, if you have a particular problem, like you used Archangel Michael to clean energy, would you use um, uh, Gabriel for communication, or would you use another one? Who's your go-to people, Is I think is what I'm asking. Well, you're, you're right. I do use particular archangels for particular issues. Mm-hmm. So Raphael for healing, Michael for protection and energy clean, and for people that are looking for help in a career, Archangel Michael's wonderful for that. Archangel Jophiel is the angel that helps us see the truth, to see the beauty in things. There's Archangel Shamuel, who's the angel that this is like the angel of love. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's um, Archangel Zadkiel, who helps with balance and also healing. So they are all they all have a, a more specific purpose, but they multitask. And good news is you don't have to remember that. All you have to do is ask your, your angels, your guardian angel, to help you with whatever it is. And they're very good at delegating. But I also, you know, Michael is probably my favorite, but I also have a very close relationship with Archangel Azrael, who is the angel that helps us transition 
from uh, into into life, out of life. So when we're born, when we die, Archangel Azrael is that angel that comes with extraordinary compassion and love and gentleness and helps us move to where we're supposed to be. And um, in, in surrounding you with love and courage and serenity. So when you're passing on into the next life, he's the one that shows up to help make that transition beautiful and peaceful and fearless. And you know what might be uh, nice? As Thank you for sharing that. Um, as we take callers tonight, they're starting to queue up. Um, would you be able to say... Uh, I feel as you take a caller and they have a particular situation, would you be able to say to them, you know, I'm kind of calling on this angel to help? Or, you know, could you sure. name an angel for them? That might, like, really liven them up a little bit. Our callers, I think, would really appreciate that. You know, we forget we're all taught probably um, in most religions in a background. You know, I have a Catholic background, so... We learned about our guardian angel a bit, and we learned about the angels. You hear about the angels in the Bible. But I think as you get older, you kind of forget that -hmm. they're available to us. So thank you for reminding us that we have help in the celestial realms. We just have to ask. So Exactly. uh, How do you feel about taking a caller? We have an area code 770 is our first caller, and our people are queuing up ready to speak with you, Laura. How do you feel about that? Okay. Perfect. Uh, welcome. Hi, this is Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Do you have a question for Laura? Um, I guess I, it's kind of a question about my husband. Um, he's uh, he's on disability insurance, and we're having problems with the disability insurance, and kind of need help with that, I guess. They're trying to limit his disability. Okay, so do you feel that this is, uh, do you want Laura to jump in here, or do you want me to give you a quick answer? Because I will keep the reading short tonight. It sounds like a familiar question to me, Sandy. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to venture, Laura, if you have something to say, please uh, jump in. I'm going to say to you there's a delay with this. Um, It is uh, going to go through, but there is a delay with it. I can't be more specific than that. He is getting something. Um, I don't know what the delay is, maybe paperwork, but I would keep the faith. There is something here for him. Uh, Laura, do you have anything to add to that for Sandy? I do, Sandy, and actually this is Archangel Michael that's giving you messages. And the first one is, is about... Uh, believing and trusting and having faith. So he, and he, they're also saying make sure that, you know, you stand up and you fight for what you want. So don't, you know, make sure that you stay focused on and that they give you what is due. So don't just accept, um, you know, any answer that they give you. So just make sure that all the, you know, that they're, they're coming and giving you what's due to you. So don't back down easily, but he's saying you're safe, you know, believe, trust, have faith, and he is here to help you with that information. That's Archangel Michael. So ask him to step in and help. Right now it is a little bit out of balance, and that is being straightened out. Uh, He's actually showing me where there's a, a scale that's unbalanced, and he's working on straightening that scale out so that it balances But he's also raising his sword very high and saying, you know, make sure that you get what's coming to you. And, you know, in a very kind way, you may fight for what comes to you, but he is helping that happen and it will happen. He's just saying, I I think I was led to um, to, uh, contact my Congress people, and they've contacted the Department of Labor uh, since it's a uh, an employer's disability. So and I think you've got a good message there, Sandy. <laughs> You're going to have what? to fight for what you need, and I think you got a very good message. Thank you for calling in, Sandy. Good Thank luck you. to you. Good luck. Uh, let's see. That was a good answer. Michael coming in, Archangel Michael. I like that. I have a, a passion for him as well. People are probably more familiar, wouldn't you think, with the 
the four angels that are cast as the archangels, which would I be think like so. what? Right, Michael, Gabriel, who else? Raphael. Raphael. Uriel. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and there are, you know, several more, but those are definitely right. the big four. I like to call them the big four. Um, but again, what I like to do in my readings is to give people homework, and that homework is to get to know whatever angel is coming in for them. So, Sandy, look up Archangel Michael. Get to know him because the more that you get to know the angels that come in for you, the closer you will be, the more answers you will get, and the easier things become. I I can't express this enough. If you ask the angels for help from your heart, I I can guarantee you your life will change in about 30 seconds. And I'm not exaggerating. A lot of people call in to this show for validation of what they already know. Um, is my impression, mm-hmm. and most people will come to a medium or a psychic or um, the work you, you do in particular, your kind of readings as well. I think they need validation, they need support, they need guidance, they need love. But most of the time, I would say the answer is within, but you need validation sometimes. You just have to be reassured that you're on the right track. So that was a very nice message. Um, our next, How about another one? Our next caller is area code 256. Oh, hello. How are you? Good. What's your name, dear? Kimberly. Kimberly, do you have a question for our guest, Laura? Yes, I just like um, a message from uh, an angel. That's it. That would be perfect. Go ahead, Laura. Oh, goody. I love those questions. Let's see. All right. So what I'm going to ask Kimberly is I'm going to ask God and angels to tell me what you need to know right now for your highest and greatest good. And the first, uh, you're getting two angels right now. And the first one is Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel is known as the angel of courage, and she's also... Um, a warrior angel, but she also oversees the animal kingdom. And she is reminding you to be courageous. She's reminding you to stand up for your beliefs. And she's also saying that you're very protective. So, so keep the courage, keep the faith. She's saying you may call upon me anytime that you need extra, extra oomph, extra courage, extra support. She says, I will give you all the moral support and insight that you need if you but ask. Archangel Raguel shows up next, and he's saying that everything is the way it's supposed to be right now. Everything is in divine order. Even though it might look like a hot mess, understand that things will equal out and look past the disorder and see the underlying order. There's something in there that you need to see, but everything will balance out, and it is the way it's supposed to be right now. So keep courage, keep the faith. And talk to Archangel Ariel and rag you out. And they are there for you. And they send you much, much love. Much love. They said you're a strong, strong woman. And they are always behind you, giving you a little little push forward. And they love you very much. Okay. Thank you. That's a beautiful message, Mm -hmm. Kimberly. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. That was beautiful, Laura. Um, when you mentioned uh, on the first angel, you mentioned uh, pets, right, animals? Do mm-hmm. animals have their own angels? Are there, like, dog that, angels? I believe that they have a very strong and divine guidance and divine love. I believe that they are surrounded in that divine love. Absolutely. And I think that they're they're also profound teachers and angels themselves at times. Hmm. Like, would you say, I know, uh, I assume, I don't know anything. I'm assuming that the pictures that we saw of angels with wings, blah, 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 and I will see that as a symbol for people in a reading, but I, I do believe that they really don't have the wings, I guess, unless they appear that way to us for a reason. Uh, it's hard for me not to picture dogs with wings because I just think they'd have them. <laughs> but <laughs> I've had readings where a departed pet has helped to pick out um, their owner's next pet, their next rescue dog or whoever needs them. In that case, I would consider them almost angelic in their work. What do you say to that? 
I agree, and I see that a lot, too, when people come in and ask me to do readings on their pets, and they're obviously grieving, and I'm telling them, you know, your your dog or your cat is sitting right here, and they're just kind of tapping their fingers going, just wait, you got another one coming, just wait, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, and uh, it, they're just so matter-of-fact about it, I find that very interesting. You know, where we're broken heart, and they're like, calm down, everything's okay, I'm picking you out another dog, and it's coming, and I will train it. And I think I had the personal experience myself of um, fostering, um, um, medical fostering my little Louis Lover pants, a, a little puppy, and I had an elderly German shepherd, and she should have left a long time ago, but I know she stuck around and waited for the puppy to be mature enough and something something between them where I ended up keeping this dog instead of turning him back to, you know, the rescue organization when he was healed. But she hung around long enough to make sure that he matured and that he nudged his beautiful way into our heart. So I, I think they do. They have plans. They, they have guides. They know, they know what they're doing a lot more than we realize. So I agree with you. They are our furry angels. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you for explaining that because I'm sure a lot of our listeners want to know that as well. They want to know that they're – a lot of people want to know that their pets are okay and in heaven. And nothing brings somebody to their knees faster than when you bring in a departed pet, you know, it's great to speak to dad or mom and or grandma or whatever, but you bring in that departed pet and everybody's a mush, you know? Everybody starts crying. Yeah, well, yeah. And because uh, it's so touching. They just want to know that their dog is okay and with their family. So we have uh, another caller um, at area code 504. Welcome. What's your name? Hi, Debbie. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Um, I would also like a message. I've just been so down, like, um, like I feel picked on all the time. Hmm. Hmm. Especially at work. <laughs> That's never fun. No. Archangel Josiel is telling you to clear your space and clear the energy around you. She is also... She is also saying to make sure that you build not only to clear the space of the of the negative energy and the you know negativity from people around you, but once you clear that space to protect yourself from that point by putting that bubble of light around you and asking also she's saying if you reach out to us and ask us to deal with the people that are bothering you, ask us to ask their angels to help them behave in a manner that is nicer, that is more um, nicer. Okay. She's, um, she's saying it's going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of doing, but it's going to be up to you to be very focused on doing this. You're going to have to do it once or twice a day. And don't take that energy home with you. She said it's very important to leave it behind, to keep clearing. And, and imagine, you know, when you feel that somebody's picking on you, just kind of brush that away and, because, you know, words and, and intentions and thoughts have energy. So kind of, you know, just brush that away when somebody does that to you like it's a cobweb or something and then put a beautiful white light around you and ask that person's angel to knock it off, essentially. Okay. Sometimes people you- aren't aware of what they're doing. Do you mean the workspace or my home space clearing? Wherever you feel the need, wherever you feel that you are uncomfortable, wherever you feel that the energy makes you uncomfortable or people are making you uncomfortable. And this goes for everybody listening. You you should clear your yourself and your space every single day before you before you go to bed at night. Just ask Archangel Michael to come in and clear any energy that doesn't serve your highest and greatest good because we all run into people places and situations that are lousy you know and so don't go to bed with that ask archangel michael to come in and clear it away it's ultra simple and if you do it at least once a day it'll 
make for a better night's sleep and a happier next day. And it also puts you in the driver's seat, gives you more control over what you allow into your, your personal arena, into your personal okay. area. So it gives you your control back. So get Archangel Michael and Archangel Josiel involved in that. And they're okay. sending you beautiful light and they'll help you. Good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Thank uh, you I just so wanted much. to interject, uh, Debbie, I had to learn the hard way, really, uh, with the work that I do, to ask for protection from the moment I wake up. Um, there's a silent prayer that goes out, okay, I don't know what I'm going to encounter today. Can you share some of God's love and divine um, light around me and protect me? So you may want to invite them in before your day even starts. And I think okay. that gives you a little bit, uh, my armor is on and I'm ready to rock and roll, you know, okay. um, to okay. give you a little protection. So I, I wish you a lot of luck. I know what that feeling is. And then they want to know why kids are bullies, right? Because they're adults are bullies. Right. Exactly. It's so, so true. It's like high school. Yeah. It is. It's stupid. That. It's okay. really stupid. Thank you, Debbie, yeah. for calling in. Thank, thank you so Debbie. much. Uh, thank you. See, where am I here? Our callers are just calling, uh, queuing in. Do you have any messages for your family while they're waiting, while they're listening Ooh. to the show? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, Why don't we stick that Arch- in there? Actually, I have a couple messages. Archangel Haniel is reminding everybody, especially this one is especially for my brother, to trust and follow your passion and your in your love life and your career. So trust yourself, follow that passion, do what's important to you, but just keep doing it. Get forward, get going to the place where you want to be and the things that you want to do. Um, They're saying, you know, clear out anything that doesn't work for you anymore, whether it's physical, whether it's energetic, whether it's emotional, get rid of the baggage. No, none of us need to carry it around and move forward with joy and passion and focus to the place where you want to be and also Archangel Raphael is coming in to say to allow allow the angels to take our burdens to take our worries to take our concerns and all that baggage that we lift off and just hand it to them and let them take care of it so it's Archangel Raphael for healing and taking care of worries and cares and and Archangel Haniel just trust trust yourself and move forward to the place you want to be. And they will help you get there. And they're saying, watch all the bright, things will brighten up. So they're just throwing one light bulb after another popping on. And so things will just become brighter and brighter and lighter and happier. What about your mom? There you Do go. You have, something for your, you have something for your mom? Well, let's see. I'm going to Archangel Michael for my mom. Okay. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what do you want to say to Oh, there it is. Let's see. Archangel Michael is reminding her that she is on the right path. She is on the right path and that he understands and she is getting his um, guidance very loudly and clearly. And he's thanking her for having confidence and courage to make helpful life changes. And he's helping her make that, that change. Uh, and she's getting ready to move here to Florida to be with me, and I know it hasn't been easy for her. Oh. So he's saying, you're on the right path. Come on, Chica, let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> I'm with you. That's, that's <laughs> fabulous. Oh, I'm so glad to hear she's moving here, and uh, I can't wait to do lunch or something with her. That's fabulous. Uh, that's a beautiful message. Lovely. Thank you so much for doing that. We have another caller um, at area code 781. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, Hi, we can. can. Okay. Yes. So I just had a question. Um, I am all set to start a pretty traditional graduate school program, and it just doesn't feel right at all now that I'm almost starting it, and I'm feeling like I'm being pulled in a different direction, and I was just wondering if angels could give me some words of encouragement to really follow my heart because – I mean, yeah, I just don't want to hesitate. Are you, Hmm. uh, do you have any intentions of teaching? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
like um spiritual teaching. Ah, and a girl. Personally, would I uh, tell me your name again? Um, Laura. Laura, what a great name, Laura. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say, <laughs> I see that you are you're in the beginning. You're sitting. You're listening. You're learning. You're kind of like is this class over yet? But it's it's almost like the the you want to get right to the exciting part, and you just want to get out there and do it. It's, it's like your your life's mission and your life purpose is calling at you and trying to drag you along, and unfortunately there is always that. Well, you got to learn first. You have to be taught what you need to do first, and so it's that boring, uncomfortable, slow growth process. Uh, but I, I see you teaching, and I see you being very astute, very intelligent, very wise, and and Archangel Michael is saying that to please accept the opportunities that you're offered because it will be successful for you. And that will be, uh, from a professional standpoint, very um, successful. It's just that the beginning is going to be a little bit slow because you're ready to go. And also you are um, going to make some tweaks, a little bit of changes, but, but you're on the stepping stones and you're on the right path. So they're only stepping stones, so meaning small stones rather than one large path. So you have opportunities and choices along the way, so don't let that scare you. Great so message. Do you think- do you think that I'm right about the traditional path not being correct? Can I just say something, Laura? Do you mind? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, please. Let me uh, just interject, uh, interject here a second because um, I'm a busybody. Uh, let me just say this to you. No education is ever wasted, and it doesn't matter what you get your degree in. Uh, I have found this to be true with uh, my nephew who has a double uh, degree, Ph.D., and my daughter who has a master's. Well, she is not doing what she went to school for. Neither one of them are, actually. But they yeah. have been incredibly successful in the venture, the path that they were given. The ones that they thought they wanted, which was what their degree was based in, the doors were closed. They walked into another doorway that they hadn't expected, and both of them, their careers have taken off very well. Um, you know, and there's switches and change. They both changed jobs a few times. It's always a promotion. Um, it's always successful. You know, they, they're good at juggling and balancing. They've learned that. Now, you know, so that's what I put out there for you. The spiritual aspect um, I worked 12 years before uh, at a company here before I retired to do this work. So I wouldn't go out on a limb um, to do it unless you're, you know what I'm saying? I, to me, that's just my particular advice. What do you say, Laura, about Like I, I would do it as I would do two careers, you know. I would keep two careers going. Is, okay, is my, yeah, two, mm-hmm. two jobs. Right, right. I, I agree. I think, like I said, you're going to feel a little hum, humdrum at the beginning, but you're going to have multiple steps and multiple choices to take that will that will take you in the right way. So I do think that the path that you're on is going to be successful and happy for you. Just follow that the path will change. It'll alter course, and you'll stay on the right course. And as it makes zigzags and lefts and rights, you'll be you're not going to be going straight. You'll so. So it won't be so traditional in that aspect where point A to point B, you're going to have a couple little side steps and that's going to work out beautifully for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay. Great. That's good a really luck. good It'll reading. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Appreciate you. Yeah. Great. Have a good night. Thank um, you. Tiffany had mentioned our producer, a lovely, gorgeous, talented, remarkable patient, uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman, our producer, just put in, uh, text me, no matter what you do, we always wave our spirituality into our work, work in quotes. Mm-hmm. So that's a really good that's point. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that because it's true. 
that is who you are. And if spirit wants you, uh, and they drop that business card from spirit in front of you, and you pick up that business card, you're off to the races. They will use you no matter what you're doing. When they call you and you answer yes, they will use you. So have no fear that you're going to miss the bus on that. Um, Our next caller is area code 229. Are you there? Yes. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Melvin. Melvin, how are you, dear? Thank you. I'm um, kind of in a situation with your previous caller with my disability. I do receive disability, but I file an appeal because I haven't received my back pay yet. And I do have an attorney, but my attorney's and I answer the phone. But I have to go to the, uh, my question is that I have to go to the uh, Social Security's office in the morning, and it's one more paper that they need. Uh, and I just want to know when do you all see me receiving my back pay for my disability? Carol Ann, you want to take that one? Oh, let me see, Melvin. Oh, You've had a, 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 an uphill struggle with this. I acknowledge that. And I want to say uh, kudos to you for sticking to it. Um, I want to say the month of June seems, uh, June, July seems to be coming up for me here. I don't know why. I'm assuming that is the answer. Um, it's sort of like getting your ducks in the row. This is going to happen. Just hold on. Um, I like how you deal with tomorrow. Just be polite, calm, and courageous like you normally are. And mm-hmm. get your – that's just getting one more duck in a row. At least you recognize your ducks, and you're putting them in a row, which is more than I can say for myself. So you've got it going on, Melvin. Um, yeah. I have every faith uh, uh, that you're going to get what you need. And I think uh, I feel an angelic presence around him, Laura. What do you? What can you give? What angel can you say is with him? Archangel Haniel is with him, and she's saying, you know, just don't release the fears, release the fears, and they will help you get things done. Uh, they said, yes, things are going to be a little bit challenging, but you're you're handling it. You're on the path, and you're also they're also going to show you some some insights that will help you resolve these issues. They said that actually there's something about this that is a growth process for you, which sounds absolutely counterintuitive, but they said there is some sort of a growth process that this is bringing out something in you that you need to um, develop that's kind of making you aware of a strength that you either weren't aware of or that you don't utilize very often. So they're saying, please be patient. They are with you, but also pay attention to your intuitive insights and um, understand that there is a hidden, a hidden gift in all of this and that is inside of you. Melvin, I want to wish you a lot of luck and know that that angel is going to be with you tomorrow. Thank you for calling in. It's all um, I hate growth spurts. I really dislike that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and tough. my uh, doorkeeper, Walter, nods. Uh, he's had me, he's walked me through several of them, and I thought they were <laughs> like it was never going to end. Um, but yeah. anyway, the good news is, from what I understand, Mercury is out of retrograde. Thanks be to Jesus. Let's move on already. So good luck to you, Melvin. I'll pray for you. Good luck, Good Melvin. luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank uh, 347 you is, I'm sorry, wait, did I just read that? 347 is our next caller. Uh, if we could have our next caller, if you're there. Yes, I'm here. Hey, what's your name? Hi, my name is Tamika. Hi, how are you, dear? Hi, Tamika. I'm good, thank you. I uh, wanted to see what you guys see from me um, with, well, my current job, And also, there's someone at my current job that I have feelings for. Um, I wanted to see if you saw me leaving the job soon, and also if you saw he and I kind of getting into anything deeper, or if we are even going to reconcile anytime soon, or if he still has feelings for me. What do you got, Laura? I'm getting a no on the reconciliation on, on the person that you're talking about. I'm getting a big fat no. 
Yeah, I had gotten uh, that too. There's a there's a void, just just an empty void there, and 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 there, and that's okay. If that's okay, that is not. Um, it, it's just not a bright enough light or a bright enough energy for you. So this is a person that will. You're always going to try and get them to catch up, and they never. They just won't. They just won't. So so that's okay. Um. Jamaica, there's better things coming, hon. And yes, I've, there I've told is. you that myself personally. I know it's not what you want to hear, um, but I have to say, you know, the that's the impression. Doesn't mean we're 100 percent accurate, but uh, this is a, a signpost for you to look elsewhere. There's something very sexy, very handsome, very gentlemanly coming that has no doubt mm-hmm. that you are his other half. So please um, keep your angels around you and and know that something better is coming. Thank you for calling in, Tamika. We love you. Lots of luck to you. Our next oh. caller uh, mm-hmm. is area code 520. Are you there, please? Oh, hello. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. This is Lisa calling you. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Thank, thank you for taking my call. I wanted to know it's a weekly appointment, and I'm walking away from that professional person. I called and let them know I was very disappointed with what took place today in their office. Do you see me finding a good replacement for them? I'm, I've been on the search for quite a while. This is a a practitioner? Yes. Um, Medical? Yeah. Okay, yes. There's, there's, honey, there's a million of them out there. Um, If you're not happy, shop around. Smart girl. Um, You know, I feel like a more, uh, let me, let me, I'm going to let Laura add to this. But I I feel um, there is an alternative therapy uh so there's a doctor in that but there's also um a regular practitioner um that i feel is more uh i don't want to say catering i don't want to say i don't want to use that word more receptive to listening i feel like you feel like you're unheard um i feel like you feel like i feel what am i saying is the impression i get from you is that you're not being heard and there's nothing worse than not being heard um so I think you have to do a little shopping. The good news is uh, this is a manageable situation. Uh, I feel that there's an alternative therapy here that is beneficial, um, and I think it will reveal itself. Laura, what do you have as far as the angelic realm speaking to Lisa? What do you have here? The same thing. The, the words that are coming up are communication and lack of in it, and it's a matter of making sure that, you are uh, gently upfront about what it is that you need in terms of communication. And sometimes people don't realize that the communication isn't there. Uh, so make sure that you express yourself when you need more or when you need something to be explained different. Um, make sure that you don't assume because they're saying there's there's definite disconnect in the communication. So if you're um, not feeling, it's almost like they're so rushed that that right, they right. Don't, they don't even rush out. So just say, hey, hello, I need some clarification here. Let me talk about this for a minute. So just make sure that the communication is on a good level that you're comfortable with, and things will go much better. Mm-hmm. And good luck. Because yeah, I, yeah, I've had someone for like. Two decades, I had a very top-notch professional, and they retired. And now I've been looking and going through a bunch of them for the last four years. And this one, I was hopeful, and then it just uh, it was something totally weird that went on. You know, it was so abrupt. And so, do you so okay? So you just see, you know, just keep plugging away, and it'll happen. 
I feel right. like it's a dual, um, if I may. I feel it's like a dual attack plan. I feel that you need a regular primary, and I feel that there is an alternative medicine uh, to this. And I think you may be looking for the alternative with the primary instead of vice versa, okay? Um, So I feel like a two-pronged approach here. The primary really doesn't matter. We can't put, you know, that's the one that checks your blood pressure, writes a script, sends you where you got to go. And unless you hate them, they're just doing a purpose. I I was fortunate. My doctor retired, and I found a new young guy um, who I like. It was hard to replace my doctor. Initially, I didn't like this one, but I'm starting to – we're starting to get it. You know, I had to see him about my blood pressure a few times. Now we're starting to – we get each other. So sometimes it takes more than one visit. Um, what What did you say, Laura? What angel was that for Lisa? Archangel Gabriel for communication. Gabriel, okay. And Archangel it's Raphael, Raphael uh-huh. for medicine. So between okay. the two of them, they'll they'll hook you up. Yeah. Okay. I think you're going to be okay, Thank Lisa. You. Good luck. God Thank bless. You. You're Bye. welcome. You know, you know uh, let me ask you something, oh. Laura. Is there hmm. – let me – I hope this doesn't sound silly, but I mean it in all earnestness. Is, is there, a, like, a financial angel – yeah, there oh, is. Who, um, who is that? I would, oh, let's see, it's not so much financial, but more about balance, and that would be Archangel Raguel. Uh, and so it's it's more about balance. So definitely we need to feel balanced in our finances, right? Am I going to figure so, that out? Could you pull a card for me and see if I'm going to figure that out? I get people volunteer readings to me just uh, as guests. You know, they'll do that, and I'll be like, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Then I'm like, hmm, I wonder if that's really going to happen, you know? So I'm kind of like today, I'm like, okay, what do we – and I've been very fortunate, a lot of clients, very good. Um, so I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful. I'm like, am I going to figure out this balance of what I need and and what I should not be buying? <laughs> Well, Archangel Sandalphon is is popping up telling you your prayers have been heard and they are being answered and to have faith. Archangel Sandalphon helps us. He does other things, but one of his jobs is to get our prayers from our lips to God's ears. Also, Archangel Ariel is coming to tell you this is perfect timing. You're ready to rock and roll. So just, you know, don't hold back. My third message that's coming through in a gigantic word with gigantic letters is teacher. So that is also something that oh, I, I hate know. teaching. Uh, I, I hate know it. I know you do, but you're so good at it. But well, really, you know, you I had a very, I had a really weird experience teaching uh, a class. I just did Psychic Arts Month at Sarasota Center of Light. I'm going to say this on the radio because I thought it was very rude. Uh, I'm not going to mention their names, but I'm going to I'm going to say it anyway. I have never heard of such a thing in my life. I had a small class. We're not exactly the easiest students. I I knew three of them, and I knew that they really needed some help. This was on oral reading, which is not an easy subject anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had two professionals come in to the class. Totally blocked me. Interrupted me. Mm-hmm. I finally had to end the class. One of the students That's left terrible. because she was upset by their aggravation. They did both did a reading for my coordinator who was sitting on the tape, my massage table. I used her as a victim, you know, read her aura. They both gave her readings. Have you ever heard of such a thing in my class? Mm, I had to shut the no. class down. I have never had that. In over 20 years of teaching, I taught Reiki for like 10 years, and I've taught other classes, uh, mediumship, psychic arts, psychic boot camp. They were so rude, and this is in town. And I really, you know, I was like, oh, I had to, so I got nothing for the class. I had to, I refunded the money. Oh, that's terrible. Well, keep in mind, no. though, and, and this is true for everybody, you know, sometimes you, there's that one in every crowd. Well, unfortunately, you got two. 
yeah. um, people that are just <laughs> probably from their working from their ego. But mm-hmm. keep in mind that, you know, I've been to your classes. You've taught me a lot. You're very good at what you do. And there's a reason for that. You're passionate about what you know, what you believe. You're always improving. You're always learning more. You're always making sure that what you're doing is right and correct. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this lady can connect with your loved ones like nobody's business, and she really <laughs> is very, very good. She is um, a, no, no BS, no woo-woo. She just <laughs> connects with your loved ones, and she's very serious about it. She's always improving herself. She's always learning, but part of that side effect is that she's teaching others like me sometimes when I do readings people's deceased loved ones come in and I want to make sure that I handle that properly so I go to her to learn how to handle that so I do it properly and so when when you have somebody that and so talking about communication and how important it is we communicate with things that most people can't see or hear or feel and Mm -hmm. it's not always very easy it's it's a constant no, it's leap not. of faith and a leap of trust yeah yeah and you it is it's like it uh, this this work i often say is like jumping off a cliff without a parachute and this yeah. is hard for people who are i forget what i guess i don't know if it's left brain or right brain but if they're too analytical they really can't go here they really don't get it um so i appreciate that it's almost like explaining how to brush your teeth you know, when you've been doing it a long time, uh, it shocked me because my poor class, there were three people, uh, absolute or four people, absolute and earnest, really wanted to see auras, and I just couldn't get the message across. Um, maybe I wasn't explaining it correctly. I tried everything, and one of them said, you were so gracious. I was like, how to be Walter, because that's not my temperament, believe me. No, ma'am. Um, uh-uh. they were, everybody yeah. was colorblind and anonymous. You know, I mean, it was just, it was the class from hell. I felt terrible. But it did teach me something. So you're right. You know, you're right. I don't know what exactly it taught me, but I'm not going to jump into it again. But, Laura, you are the best. Thank you so much for saying that. My, my face is beat red now, but thank you for sharing all that. <laughs> is that that glow I see over to the east? But but truly, and so for everybody that's listening, you know, if you if there's something you're really passionate about, do it. Yeah. We do yeah. what's seemingly impossible. Just do it. If that's your passion, mm-hmm. if that's your calling, don't let anybody tell you you can't. Follow your heart. Ask for guidance. Call Carol Ann for guidance because she's so good. And she'll, you know who else, your loved ones, your your deceased loved ones, ones in the spirit world, they know how to help you too, and they still do. So contact her for some of that communication to get that message from Aunt Jenny and Uncle Bob and Great Grandma and your and your dog. And in, in all seriousness, our loved ones still hang around to help us and guide us. So if you're stuck, if you're not sure where to go, if you're lonely, if you don't feel like anybody loves you, let me tell you, you're loved. And if you need to hear it from your deceased relatives, Aunt, uh, Carol Ann can certainly help you do that and really help set things right and I think that what she does and other professional mediums do is one of the most healing things you can ever possibly have done in your life because there's um, that connection is made right away and connections to people that we're bonded with those bonds never die and they're so important and you still you just feel that love and that connection and it's it's like it's a gift so reach out and Touch someone. But, but <laughs> I honestly, love that. Thank you for all of that. Thank you for your honesty. Your, uh, Laura's your website, if you want to look her you. up, is uh, Laura's website is www.angelsandhealinglight.com. That Laura Romero, who is a certified spiritual healer, uh, Reiki master teacher, angel intuitive, and the host of Angels and Healing Light Show. Now, Laura, uh, you're on Tuesdays at 11? I'm on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That's correct. On Goldilocks Productions with Miss Tiffany, the best producer in the whole wide world. (laughs) Yes, she is. And you have very exciting guests. You have a great show, and I encourage everyone to tune in uh, for that. Um, We are on Blog Talk, 
Spreaker. What else are we on? We're on everything, I'm sure, Tiffany. iHeart, YouTube. iHeart, yes. Everything. Um, YouTube. YouTube, yes, that's great. Uh, not that you actually get to see us all the time, but you do get to see pictures of us and blah, blah, blah. Um, Spotify now, Tiffany is telling me Spotify. Oh, okay. That's beautiful. Spotify. iTunes. Uh, so all of our shows, we have some great radio show hosts on Goldilocks Productions. They're just fabulous. And we are everywhere all the time. Tiffany is telling me she's laughing. Um, I hope you will join us again. My show in the Psychic Flow is on Thursday evenings, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My website is carolanncary.com, C-A-R-O-L-A-N-C-A-R-E-Y.com. Please look me up. Um, I've had some great feedback on my website and have some very interesting guests calling in uh, and cl- booking clients. It's been wonderful. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you trust me to be your spirit connection. I am really honored to do this work. I really enjoy my show, my new show. It's wonderful having Tiffany. It's wonderful having friends like Laura Romero, Jimmy Mack, Joanne Leo. I mean, you just can't beat these people. They're fabulous. Mm-hmm. Absolutely fabulous. And we have a new gal on. Melissa Parks has her new show, correct? Yes, on Wednesdays at high noon. At high noon. There you go. Yeah. You can't miss that. She's a wonderful oh, she's medium, wonderful very gifted too. individual. I have had the occasion to meet her, and I'm sure she's going to have some fascinating insight to share with us. We did have a – I'm sorry we didn't get to everybody – um, but then you'll have to call Laura's show <laughs> or my show next week. <laughs> you'll have to call in and queue up. I really enjoy being, uh, spending time with you, Laura, and thank you so much for these beautiful messages from the celestial realms. It is, um, I almost feel like I'm like the, I'm the bad girl, you know, like I don't even know if, um, I know they're there to help me and Walter assures me they are there. But, you know, sometimes you just feel kind of like, am I good enough to reach out to the celestial realms? Um, I believe everybody is. Uh, I think one of my favorite movies was Michael with John Travolta, and that was about him (laughs) being an angel. I think that was one of my best, best angelic presences I've ever seen. I thought it was great. I really identified with it. Uh, That was a great movie if you want to rent that on uh, Hulu or something. Uh, that was many years ago. But I know they don't come that way. I know angels don't no. come that way. What uh, What can you leave us with? We have like one more minute. <coughs> well, Excuse I'm going to leave you with this. Everybody's angels are there for them, and they love you unconditionally. And all you have to do is say hello, and they're there. Carol Ann, this message is for you, and you're going to love this one. It's from Archangel Zadkiel, and it's about teaching and learning. And this is oh, from God. an angel card deck, and it's keeping an open mind, <laughs> learning mm-hmm. new ideas, and then teach those ideas to others. Archangel Jeremiah wants you to know that right now everything is happening the way it's supposed to be, and there are yep. hidden blessings that you will soon understand, which means there is another gift around the corner for you, wow. another um yeah, so thank you very much for having me on tonight. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, my family, my friends, and everybody that called in tonight, and Tiffany and Carol Ann. Love you loads, girl. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And I apologize for my allergies today. And pollen count here in Sarasota is kind of miserable. Thank you all for listening today. I have my gravelly voice. I appreciate you calling in. I, want, I loved having Laura with us this evening. Stay tuned for next week. We have Psychic Joanne Leo. Now buckle up for that one, and I'm sure we'll have plenty of callers. Thank you for spending time with us tonight. Till next time. <laughs>